here I am with another lecture of DC circuit analysis in this video I will introduce you to circuit analysis theorem first one is Thevenin theorem and second one is Norton theorem let's see what is Thevenin theorem or Thevenin equivalent circuit Thevenin theorem states that any combinations of voltage source voltage source current source and resistances across two terminals okay any combination of voltage source current source and resistances across two terminals can be replaced with a voltage source VTH and a resistance in series RTH so what is VTH? VTH is Thevenin voltage and RTH is known as Thevenin resistance so what does the Thevenin theorem imply? Thevenin theorem implies that if let's say this is a big circuit this circuit contains 1 2 3 and 4 resistance and a independent voltage source and a independent current source Thevenin theorem implies that I can convert this whole circuit into a single voltage source and a single resistor let me show how this theorem works look at this circuit this circuit contains a resistance R L across the terminal A and B if I remove this R L from this across these two terminal then the circuit inside this bounded region will be our remaining two terminal the circuit inside this remaining two terminal network now if I convert this I now I can convert this whole circuit into a single voltage source and that voltage source is known as VTH and it will have a resistance in series and that resistance is known as RTH they will be connected in series connection and their combination will be connected across the terminal A and B as I know I, I have drawn this circuit based on Thevenin theorem this circuit is known as this circuit is known as Thevenin equivalent circuit after discussing Thevenin equivalent circuit I will introduce another type of circuit which is known as Norton equivalent circuit let me first describe the com Norton theorem what is Norton theorem Norton theorem states that any combination of voltage sources current sources and resistances across two terminals can be replaced by a single current source I n and a single resistance in parallel with that current source R n here I n is known as Norton current and R n is known as Norton resistance so how, what is this Norton theorem states let's say we have a big circuit here the circuit contains one two three four resistor one independent voltage source and another independent current source Norton theorem states that if at first I remove this load resistance across this terminal A and B if I remove the RL across this A and B terminal then the circuit in inside this bounded region will be our remaining circuit Norton theorem states that I can convert this whole circuit into a single current source and that current source will have a current of I n and a single resistance and that resistance will be known as R n and the current source and the resistance will be connected in parallel the circuit that is drawn based on Norton theorem is known as Norton equivalent circuit okay now there is a duality of Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuit what is that let's say I convert a big circuit into a single voltage source and a single resistance that is VTH is in series with RTH which we call our Thevenin 
equivalent circuit i can convert this thevenin equivalent circuit to a to our norton equivalent circuit how the norton equivalent circuit contains a current source and a resistance in parallel the parallel resistance is known as norton resistance and the value of norton resistance and the value of thevenin resistance will be equal and the norton current how do we find the norton current if i convert this thevenin equivalent circuit into a norton circuit i calculate just i just divide the volt thevenin voltage with thevenin resistance okay that means this thevenin equivalent circuit is convertible to this norton equivalent circuit okay now if i convert any circuit to a norton equivalent circuit that means that circuit will contain a current source norton current and the norton resistance in parallel i can convert this norton equivalent circuit to this thevenin equivalent circuit thevenin equivalent circuit contains a voltage source and a resistance in series thevenin resistance will be equal to our norton resistance and how do we calculate vth from this norton circuit i just multiply uh, norton resistance current with norton resistance as this thevenin in equivalent circuit is convertible to norton equivalent circuit or the norton equivalent circuit is convertible to thevenin equivalent circuit this is known as the duality of thevenin and norton equivalent circuit Thank you.